Welcome back. So the BJP has put out its set list of candidates and as expected, you have union ministers, former chief ministers all in the fray. Much like you had seen in Delhi, there has been a lot of rejake, particularly in Karnataka. I want to take this moment quickly to get in our colleague Imran, who's tracking that state for us closely. Imran, many would say this is also an acid test for B.Y. Vijendra to ensure that, you know, the tally that the BJP got the last time around in 2019, uh, 25 of the 28 is repeated. Well, yes, that's a big challenge for uh, the uh, for the uh, the new party president from Karnataka. He is son of V. S. Yadurappa, who is the man who built the party from scratch in BJP. And uh, the, uh, BJP is identified with Yadurappa in Karnataka. And uh, it's also a challenge for the Karnataka Congress government there. And to test their how popular are their schemes, they say that uh, because of the schemes, there is a lot of traction, and uh, that will help them, especially in rural areas, get more votes, and especially women voters after the free bus scheme was implemented. So it's a test of both Congress's schemes and also the new leadership which has come under BJP. Uh, they, they, most of the MPs have been written, but uh, important ones is that the Udupi Chikmangaluru, where we saw Sh Union Minister Shobha Karanlaje has been replaced hmm. with uh, Kota Shinwas Pujari, who's earlier okay. a backward class minister. He's a sung man and uh, there was yes. a lot of protests. In fact, just three days back, in, in the BJP hmm. party office, there was a protest Imran. to deny the Shobha Karanlaje ticket of Udupi Chikmangaluru. Most yes, only for what if time Imran, I'm interrupting you here, but on the other side of this quick break, we continue to get you the bigger takeaways and the headlines from the BJP's second list. All our colleagues continue to stay with us. So we are keeping our eyes focused on the BJP's second list of candidates that have been announced, 72 names so far, and a lot of significant headlines. Remember, there are former chief ministers in the fray, there are union ministers, and much like in the national capital, we are seeing a significant rejig in the state of Karnataka. Karnataka, remember, is a state that the BJP lost to the Congress recently. They realized the challenge there. You have a new president there in B.Y. Vijendra. It's an asset test also for him. Our team of colleagues continue to join us live to get us insight into different names and the headlines so far. Uh, I do see Arunil with us, Amandeep also, and uh, Imran continues to stay with us. Mohit also joining us. Um, Amandeep, to you. You know, first, we'll, let's also look at Haryana. The BJP really wants 10 out of those 10 seats. We've seen what happened vis-a-vis -vis the JJP. We've seen a new chief minister in the saddle now. Is the BJP pretty confident of retaining that 10 out of 10 in Haryana? And which are the highlights from the state? Well, absolutely, Dipti, and that is the reason they have reduced the JJP and, in fact, refused to give two seats, uh, uh, including Hisar and Bhivani, to JJP. And now, if we just talk about the seats, the six seats has been announced in Haryana, and three candidates has been changed. First, from Karnal, earlier Sanjay Bhatia was the member of parliament, and now former Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar is the candidate from Karnal. And uh, from Sirsa, earlier Sunita Duggal was MP, and now Ashok Tawar, who has just recently joined BJP, he has given the chance to prove the metal on the ground. And even from Ambalal, Ratanlal Kataria's wife, late Ratanlal Kataria's wife, um, uh, 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 his, uh, his wife has, give, has uh, got the chance to prove her metal also. So these are the three tickets that the candidates has been changed. And uh, other three were repeated. Rao Indajit Singh repeated, Chaudhary Dharamveer Singh repeated, and and even Kishan Pal Gujar has also repeated from his own constituency. So BJP, Deepthi is quite confident mm. to get all 10 seats. And that is the reason Manohar Lal Khattar himself just landed on the ground. And in fact, he will be contesting from Karnal from his home turf. Mm. From here, from where he was MLA. And today itself, Deepthi, he has resigned as MLA from Karnal itself. And by the evening, he's getting um, uh, he, his name in, his, in, in the candidates uh, of Lok Sabha. And okay. Karnal is the constituency. So somewhere down the line BJP is quite confident mm. and in fact it was the state units um, uh, demand to reduce the JJP to contest all 10 seats with no seat sharing with no compromise they are quite confident and now it is the time to prove their metal on the ground so let's okay. wait and watch rest four seats are still remaining so yeah. even the next list is expected uh, very soon and in fact these four candidates are likely to be announced very soon in the next list okay and Amandi yes. we must also tell our viewers Haryana will be looking at elections later this year so clearly you know the focus right now is on the Lok Sabha elections, but the BJP would clearly want to ensure that the state of Haryana continues to stay with them even in the assembly elections. Let's spend